All right, so I'm starting a soldier fly bin, and I'm just using some stuff that I found around the house. I have a big bin. I have a couple of smaller bins. This is going to hold the food. I have a small Tupperware and a smaller Tupperware, so they just all fit together. I've cut out a slot at this end here so that it fits at an angle. They're going to be eating down in here and when they get done eating they're going to make their way up here and fall into the bin underneath. At which point they're ready to go into the ground and become a fly, a soldier fly, um, or you can feed them to reptiles or chickens. Um, I got them in the mail today. They came in this little container. Uh, there's only a couple, but they eat a lot, and then hopefully we can make more. Last year, I, I had little things I made in the garden for this, and it worked perfectly, but this year I wanted to try a bigger bin uh, for all the kitchen stuff, kitchen scraps and stuff. Um, what I'll do is put the top on, and when it's time to go outside, I'm going to have a little... Um, a little opening here so that the flies can get in and lay their eggs and make more soldier flies. So there you go. Um, I have a lot of kitchen scraps to put in here. I'm going to add the, the larva and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I've been collecting some kitchen scraps for a while, um, a couple of days, and I'm probably not going to put it all in to start and probably not the coffee grounds, but uh, I know that they like most things. So let's throw these guys in. Let's see where they are. They come in this little mix. Here they are. And they're alive. Yay! So let's go ahead and toss these guys in here. You can see them moving. They're going to love this. There they go. So I'll do an update on this, see how they're doing in a few days.